Good morning, teachers and students, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Mass News. I'm Julian Sandoval. And I'm Maria Borges. Today is Monday, October 7th, and Mass News starts now. Today on Moss News, Moss Means More will be covering office aides and the misconception of what the class really is. Then our entertainment team will be highlighting a very well-known streaming service and all the movies they have to offer during the month of October. And lastly, a feature of an organization here at Moss that many students take part in and its benefits. Office aid is an offered elective here at Moss. However, it's seen as a class where students don't really do anything. Exactly, Maria. This week, Mass Means More is breaking the perspective on the elective and how it benefits teachers all around the school. Last year, you probably received your subject selection forms. There in those forms, you had a variety of electives to choose from. It's overwhelming, isn't it? And you began to wonder to see what other students are taking. And you usually get the same response. Office aid, it's a period where we do nothing, right? Well, on today's segment, we're here to change your perspective. Hey everyone, it's Elia Aleman, and you're watching Mass Means More. Why does office aid have such a negative stigma? Well, some tend to use their time in said class in an unproductive way, or at least in the traditional sense. The image of people lounging around working as an aide is far too prevalent in the minds of our students. But this is simply not the case. For example, Ms. Canamine has had the same office aide for the past three years, and they have always been extremely efficient. For the past three years, I've been fortunate enough to have office aides help me out in my classroom. They alleviate a lot of the stress and workload and a lot of the little details. I've been Canamine's office aide for three years. Honestly, office aide is more work than people cut out to see, but like, I do a lot of filing and going to the office constantly and file her papers for her and grade stuff if she needs help with it. So honestly, it's more work than what people cut out to seem. And it really helps me because I want to be a special education teacher. For example, Isa, she's amazing. She will come in here beginning of the school year and do my files for all of my classrooms. So all of my classes already start off. My kids have a list. And as the year progresses, she will go through and check to see who was here, who was sent to another class. And I'm able to pay more attention to my students and my class and get more teaching done than having to worry about dividing my time. The Office Aid elective offers more than the average student would expect. It is a perfect opportunity to immerse yourself in a professional workplace that could be beneficial for you in the future. Reporting for Mass Means More, this has been Elia Aleman. Now back to Maria and Julian. As many of you may know, one of our very own Mass students, Joanna Martinez, is participating on The Voice, a very well-known singing competition. Next upcoming week, a watch party will be held here at school to view Joanna Martinez's appearance on The Voice. We all know about Netflix, that popular website known for its streaming platforms. It is estimated that over 50% of students use Netflix as their main source of TV. I know I'm for sure a part of that statistic. With the month of October here and Halloween approaching, Moss Entertainment gives us an inside scoop on how Halloween culture affects movies and TV shows. We now go to Amanda Felipe and to Sonny Beasley with more on the story. The weather is turning, the leaves are changing, Halloween season is upon us. What better way to get into the spooky spirit than kicking back and watching a ghoulish movie or show on our favorite streaming service, Netflix. Jack Black is delightful in the kid-friendly Goosebumps 1 and 2 movies based on the popular R.L. Stein books. As stated by Rotten Tomatoes, Goosebumps is nostalgia at its most infectious, said by top critic Clarice Lofray. If you're in the mood for something a little lighter, then Casper is your guy. His friendly demeanor and mischievous uncles will get you into the Halloween spirit. Children and adults will get a kick out of the band of devilish monsters that take over a small town, the Gremlins. According to Rotten Tomatoes, top critic Richard Cordes said, this film is a wildly original roller coaster ride of hilarious mischief. In September, Netflix officially announced Stranger Things would be returning for a fourth season. 
Though no exact date has been shared, we can likely expect it sometime in 2020. Netflix shared the news with a teaser that also included the tagline, We're not in Hawkins anymore, which appears to be a nod to where things left off in season 3. This may be a nice change of scenery for the show's fans. It seems you have a lot of options to help you get into the season. We hope you have a spectacular October. I'm Amanda Felipe and thank you for watching Mass Entertainment. United Way is a well-known organization that specializes in helping students give back to the community. Here at Moss, getting community service hours and giving back is essential. Luckily for us, we have Daniel Fernandez covering United Way and how it benefits students in our campus as well as in our community. In Miami Art Studio, teachers and students are always encouraged to help each other out and support the community. This month of October is United Way Month, which means Moss is able to give back while having some fun. During this month, we have events such as Jean Day, which is going on today, October 4th, Sports Day on October 11th, and Superhero Day on October 18th. By participating in these events with a $1 donation, United Way has the ability to use those funds and focus on education, income, health, and to improve the building blocks for a good quality of life. The impact United Way wants to make is to try and solve the problems that most people can't stomach or don't talk about. United Way's mission is to rebuild and help out those countries that are in need. One way that you can help out is getting involved here at school. Whether you're sporting your favorite team on sports day or idolizing your favorite superhero on superhero day, you can take action and make it united. My name is Daniel Fernandez. Back to you, Julian and Maria. Last week, our Moss Spotlight crew gave an insight on Maddie Gloss, a very special student here at Moss. Make sure to click the link in the description for the full story. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Moss News. I'm Julian Sandoval. And I'm Maria Borges, signing off. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow and subscribe to us on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Everybody, thank you for watching this week's episode of Mass News High School Edition. But the fun's not over yet. Make sure to tune in every Monday morning to IGTV at Mass News HS for the episodes of the Mass lineup. I'm Mira Rodriguez signing out.